and we forget stuff, unfortunately. And you know, between the time in the studio and out of the studio and how we actually do the show, <laughs> I gotta go back because I forget. Yep. Oh, my brain, my brain hurts. All right, get that going. Still got the timer, folks. We're trying to keep the time. That's what we're doing for you. That's what that's what we're trying. But all right, so you ready to get into this, buddy? Hey, kin folk! Welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Steward. Our next certified bartender. And we're bringing it back to you again. We're doing our next blind review. Don't know what's inside the can back there. Don't know what's inside our glass in front of us. All we got was the individually marked little sample bottles. I have mine, so we're doing the eye out of the COVID series that Sadie had set up for us. So we're going to get into this, get started, and see where we're going to go for it. So, sir, are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. And we're in, folks. Lift off. Ooh, nice nose. Dude, oh my goodness. High nice alcohol nose. right off the nose to me. Yeah, there's some alcohol in there, definitely. That yeah, That's hitting you in the face a little bit on the nose immediately. Total dark fruits. Dark fruit, definitely. Um, very sweet on the nose. I'm getting like that, the, the sugars there going on, maybe a caramel. I'm going to go caramel vanilla because I can never get it, but kill, hit them, throw them both out there and you can't go wrong. Got a candied smell. Yeah, the there, there, there's like a candied spice to it. There's a spicy note in there, too. Yep. Ooh, dude, this. Maybe like an herbal mint. Like a grassy note, but okay. I'm leaning towards the mintiness. Is it okay, take a sip. Maybe tobacco. I don't know. Mm. Ooh. Woody. Malty. Wow. Very woody. Uh, sugary note, but you're getting like the barrel in here too. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. I like it. This that maltiness. Very... Is... <clears throat> the mash bill on this has got me intrigued. It's got like a mustiness to the nose. It does have a mustiness to the nose. You're right. Like, a, like something that's been locked up for too long. <laughs> I'm getting like a what I, like a cereal note to it, like a cereal grain going on. Okay. Like you know, like, a like honey spices. oats. You know, like a honey oat cereal, like that kind yeah. of a deal, like the honey with the sweetness, but like an oatiness in there also, like some kind of a grain going on. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay if everyone's staring at my amazing beaver with his ice mm. cream cone. It's fine. Your beaver's wonderful. That came out so wrong. If everyone's staring at my beaver. <laughs> everyone's staring Weird. at Derek's beaver. I just, I just said that. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Well, I'll make this work out, I guess. Stand but... up. Show everyone your beaver. I want to see full beaver. <laughs> full oh, beaver. Yeah. And there it is, the beaver. Anyway, you know what? Get back into the whiskey. We're about whiskey. Oh, that's good. That was awesome. Uh, I think I should. I flushed a little bit there with that one. I don't know. A little red. <laughs> Weird. I like it. You never know what me and Nick are gonna say. That's that's what makes the show the show. You better clean that beaver. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I, I, there's like a like a cloviness in there in the back yeah. too. I think like a little bit. On the background, so that's why I wasn't sure if it's if it's allspice or if it's a clove. Okay, it's, but I it's think like, allspice has the clove in it. I think that's in there. So if it's that allspicy, but there's definitely a spicy note going on. Um, the sh it, it's sweet on the palate too. So that's the weird thing is like normally you're getting like a very woody sweetness with some clove spice in the background. I feel yeah, like. it, it's or, got a lot spice. going on inside of this one. Uh, I'm gonna do a little H two O H two no. I'm in. I do What's like it. Beaver? You got to water the beaver. <laughs> you got to water the beaver. Well, evidently this beaver likes ice cream, so that's what we're going yeah. with. And it likes something else, but you won't show the bottom of I'm the not going to show that one. I think I've had worn this on the show before, so you you, you would have that would have been at the studio, so you would have got the full effect. I don't think it I've is. ever seen that shirt. 
No, maybe I haven't. I don't know. Maybe I've worn it too, and I haven't worn it on. That spice is so strong. I, yeah, I want to say cinnamon, through, but I don't uh, even think cinnamon's there because the spice is so strong. Um, I think that the it actually opened up that spiciness more with the water. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, it killed the sweetness. Sweetness went. There right is a away. slight fruit in there. I don't know what it is. It's a dark fruit, like a fermented fruit. But that oak and stuff is still coming through the the wood, the barrel. Um, and there's something else in there I can't pick out, and this it's killing me. There's something else going on in there. I think it's a grassiness, like an earthy, not like dirt, but like. Hmm. All right, let's uh, write down our guesses, and we'll. Uh, uh, this one's got me intrigued, dude. I don't know. I like it. I like what's going on, but I don't know what it is. It's got me. It might trick me up a little, but I'm not sure. All right, All right. Like again, I said, there's something sweet going on in there. I don't know what it is, um, and I can't. I can't figure it out. But um, this is my guesses and scores and. I went with a bourbon. I went 3.75. I, I like this one. I enjoyed it. There's something going on there. I went 46% in H2O because I think it opened it up a little bit for us. So, okay. um, you know, the nose and everything kind of opened up. There was a little more brightness to it when you did put some water in there. So, um, yeah, so 3.75 and my guess is a bourbon. And you, sir, what did you go with? So I actually immediately when we sipped this was like, this is bourbon all day long. However... Had a you know me, I love my wild card guesses, hoping that I get it right. Ooh, I'd rather wild make card. a wild I love card it. guess. Yeah, I'd rather make a wild card guess than to just kind of go with what's normally assumed. Um, and I'll share with you now. So okay. I think it's a double rye. Um, we had a double rye one double of the, rye. So wow. we had that. Do you remember the high west double rye we had? Yeah. Similar to that is what I'm getting notes out of this. Ooh. So I don't know if it's a rye or a double rye, and I kind of was like, eh. Maybe, I don't know. maybe it, it, dude. It's it's got something going on, and I kind of wanted to go that way. I wanted to go rye, and I said yeah. bourbon, and it's kind of like a mix, and I don't know, and I'm kind of in a place, and it's kind of weird. And what happens? I, like when we don't know. I think three point seven five as well. Nice. I liked it. I kind of want to keep working with it, sort of a thing, and I feel like this is one where you and I could probably sit in the studio for an hour and try to keep breaking it down, and yeah, we, we may or may never get there. Um, H two no. I actually think the water diluted it too much to the fact that too much spice came out, and I like the sweetness. Okay. So I wouldn't want that to go away. I think it's a forty-five percent alcohol. So you know, All not right. too far off from you. That's what All I right. got. Well, you know what? Let's check it out, and we'll see what we got, buddy. And that's what we'll have to go with. So opening up the chug jug back here behind me, and oh my god, dude, it's a high west. Oh, I knew it! I said I was. You no way! You nailed it on the on what it was. As far as a uh, make, honestly, dude, I'm impressed. Wow! Wow! Is that a first? Yeah, I was like, it, it tastes so much like the High West Double Rye we had that day. Well, um, all right. This is a limited good. release. It's a barreled for a particular liquor store that I got it at anyway. Um, okay. It is the American Prairie Bourbon. Wow. Dude, that was amazing. And I think this is the, what the heck is it? It's our actual limited release. This is a, so oh, it's a rum cask finished. So maybe it's that's rum what Rum cask is the, the new background. thing, man. So it was, it was actually um, finished in a rum cask for one year, five months. And this is a store pick from a uh, Gazbaro's um, store um, out that we go to all the time, Wine and Spirits. Wow. So maybe if we do just drinking with those guys, you know, if we do that. Uh, oh, that other one. Yeah. If we get those guys like that drinking, we could uh, maybe do that one. That would be nice. Um, little rum finish in there. Um, wow. Again, here's the envelope signed by Sadie on the back. It's the eye. So let's get into this. Oh, I love it. You know what, dude? Honestly, I don't think I've had a High West that I haven't liked. I, I'm right there with you that we have not had one yet, and we're still waiting to try that campfire. I, am I know the campfire is still in the wind somewhere out there. So this is the High West American Prairie Bourbon. It's a straight bourbon whiskey, 
92 proof, 46% alcohol. I actually nailed the alcohol right on the head. Um, you had the 45, yep. correct? Yep. There's no age statement on it, but there's a mix of all the stuff they put in here. It's between two to 13 years, all the different stuff when they do their mix. Okay. It's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys aged from two to 13 years. The mash bill is 75% corn on a, on them, 21% rye, 4% malted barley from MGP as one of theirs. Another one is 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley from an undisclosed source. Other whiskey components are undisclosed due to con contractual reasons. So hi, um, the High West I like because they're really forward about what they use and where they get it from. But, you know, sometimes they do keep the disclaimer. They kind of not reveal the source. But as far as what their mash bills are, they're pretty straightforward about it. Um, distillery is High West. Parent company is High West. The um, nose, no, nothing on the appearance as far as what coloring and whatnot we're dealing with with this. I mean, it's got like that amberish golden hue to it. So yeah. um, the nose is a light caramel and sweet vanilla. I think I said caramel and vanilla. <laughs> you did. You said, I'm going to go caramel I said, I'm going to throw with both of them, but that's all it's got. Now, all these notes are actually from the High West site themselves. So, so wait a um, second. Before you that? read, you have your glass, right? Yep. Okay. Smell it. You can smell it now. Caramel vanilla. Yeah, like dude, it's said, in, it's right that there. one I actually nailed for the first time on the show. You named an actual specific distillery and nailed it. And I actually named the caramel vanilla and I said it was both of them, you know. Um, Is it our best taste. episode yet? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> on the taste, it's rich and earthy on the palate with a well-balanced flavors of candy corn, honey, uh, I'm sorry, honey nougat. Um, mm. and sweet cornbread biscuits. Cornbread biscuits. Cornbread biscuits, son. Cornbread um, biscuits. <laughs> the finish is, this is interesting. We said there was fruit and we couldn't figure out vanilla with a hint of caramel apple. Oh. So that's that's actually very good. I just looked at the price because I'm a buffoon. I get that. Um, what do you think the price is on this? So you looked at it by accident? I did. I was flipping to the next page to see if there was anything else, but everything yeah. I got was from High West on this one. So I'm going to guess because it's specifically for a store. Originally, I want to say 58, but I'm going to go 68 because it's specifically for their store. I feel like it's probably a little bit pricier, but I could be Okay, wrong. well, I looked it up, and I don't think I could get because it was the price, I think, was a little bit more because it was a store pick. Okay. The everyday American Prairie bourbon, when you find it out, is actually $29.99. I think this was a little bit more. This might have been like $35 or $40 because it was the store pick, the rum cask finish. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's actually very good, man. I haven't tried wow. this one, and this is delicious. The next episode will determine this for me. If it's an out of the park, man, this is my favorite five weeks. This is about. very, this is amazing. I mean, I really like this one. I might actually mm, kind of maybe go up a little bit on my grade, maybe to a four with it, but 3.75, I'm liking. I like everything about this one. This is a yeah. really good bourbon, so good. dude, all the way around. I, I'm I shocked nailed about, it. well, the whole thing about, I was like, this reminds me of that high west. Like, that is crazy. Dude, that was amazing. That was Honestly, that you nailed specifically high west. That's crazy. Right. But, you know, your double rye, kind of how you went in there. And the again, on the mash bill on this one, what was the? Um, you said 21% rye on one of the, the mash bills. So that's actually pretty high for a rye content. But so is the corn. The corn's out of, off the charts with this. 75% corn in one and 84% corn in another mash bill, but that's why you got that corn cornbread note they were talking about in there, you know? Yeah. Dude, so, I, this one was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, I think we came really close on this, honestly. that's I'm actually amazed by that. So I am too. You know what, folks? I don't think we can do anything else with this one, so we're going to take it out on that. You know what to do. Like down below. Make some comments. Subscribe. Share us with everybody you know. We want to get bigger. We're trying to do stuff. We've got stuff. We're doing giveaways. We've got all kind of things going on with us. So check in with us from all the time, and you may be surprised at what we're doing. So... Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, again. And here's hoping that everyone finds a little bit of luxury in otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Where are you now? If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.